finally Nadine Lee is about me just finally doing this project <laughs> simply um, put um, it's about me um, embracing my role as a musician it's embrace me about me embracing my styles of music and who I actually am it's about telling the truths of my story in my music. Working with Nadine is amazing. Like, um, it's just one of those things that I had to do. Um, for when I was a little, I was like, always looking at her. I was always looking at her and like, thinking, like, she's such a dope musician. So, yeah, working with her, I just had to do it. I got into music when I was really young, like, probably around the age of five, six. Um, I saw my cousin playing drums and I just loved the energy that he had and so I decided that I wanted to play like that and so that was the beginning of me just loving drums, loving the whole um, exciting atmosphere of church and just feeling like I want to do it all the time. Hi, I am Andrew Jack from Trinidad and Tobago. I have known Nadine for a couple of months since I moved to London and it has been a pleasure working with her. She is an amazing artist, very dedicated to her craft, and it was a real privilege for me to be called on this project. Um, she is the perfect role model for any young artist looking to get out there. Um, she sets a good example and a great work ethic. Um, gosh, there's so many musicians out there that are inspirational and so I think I've mentioned a lot of them. There's some in the UK who mean a lot to me as well. I'm not gonna mention any of them because I know too many people who'd be like, what about me? So I love you all. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's there's quite a few people out there. One, one person I will mention though is a guy called Brian Green who um, to date, is my second favourite music teacher. My first favourite is a lady called Mavis Tomlinson who taught me, I did piano lessons with her. She was strict, she was firm and she was fun, so I loved her. But Brian gave me a different mindset when it came to approaching music and approaching my life. And um, I think he changed my life forever because from a lot of his lessons, I managed to plan where I wanted to be in life. And because of that, I've managed to be a full-time musician ever since I left uni, so um, if you ever get to watch this, Brian, thank you very much. So I'm a mum and I'm a wife as well. I love my children dearly. I love my husband like I can't even describe. Um, but um, when you ask about how do I balance my family, um, I don't think it's a fight between music and family it's just a way of making it work and that's what we do when stuff comes in we just know that if we want to do it then we have to find a way to do it and so that's basically what we do we've got great families both of us and so we try to work with them and they help us and it really does make a big difference so yeah thanks family blessings in it <laughs> <laughs> My name's Dion Cross, I play tuba. Um, I met Nadine maybe last year through finding out randomly that she's actually my cousin. And she asked me to be a part of this project maybe like the end of last year. It's been great, I'm really interested to play the music that she's kind of influenced by and that she's kind of making her own. And I'm really excited and really glad to be a part of the credits and interested to see where it's going to go, so I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Adriano. Um, it's great playing with the Dings. I've known her for about 15 years, maybe more. I've uh, known her and Simon for that long. Uh, played with her in various projects, it's always fun. And uh, great to be part of it. I'm Vicky Flint and I play the trumpet, as you can tell. Um, I met Nadine about two years ago, actually so quite quite recently, at a function gig, um, which was an all-girl band, which was really, really cool. Um, and she was playing bass at the time and 
kind of loved each other's vibe um, and swapped numbers. And, uh, and here I am, um, loving this. This is exactly the kind of music that I enjoy. Um, so this is like my ideal thing to be, project to be involved with really. So yeah, I'm really happy to be part of it. Finally, the Dean Lee is also about um, just me letting other people know that they're allowed to be who they want. They can just be themselves. Being yourself is the hardest, yet the most fulfilling thing in life. And the more I'm embracing who I am and um, not ignoring everyone else, but just um, embracing me and appreciating everyone else, I'm starting to just love life and reaching my potential. Not there yet, because I've got loads to go and I'm always learning, but I guess that's what makes life exciting. So yeah, I'm David. Um, I play keys and uh, yeah, I've been working with Nadine for about maybe a year now, uh, maybe a little bit less. Um, incredible experience, she's crazy. It helps that she's a musician herself. Um, so yeah, it's really cool to be able to, to play music, which is it's quite musically developed and it's very really exciting. The guys, the, the band is crazy. The rehearsals are crazy. Um, this is a really wild experience. Um, keep an eye on my Insta because I'll be updating stuff so you can see what's going on. And um, yeah, it's just going to be a whole project. So it's not just about the music, it's about the stories, about where everything comes from. So I'm, I'm hoping that you follow the story um, so that you can just really understand my journey because I think if you understand my journey then you'll understand my music more. Um, like I said I'm a, a teacher, I'm a musician, I'm somebody who just really loves music and I think that will come out in what I do so just stay tuned, um, enjoy the styles, enjoy what I'm doing, you'll get me playing drums, you'll get me playing bass, I'm gonna be singing um, I'll have a band with me on some of this so you're going to enjoy some of that as well and yeah you'll just see what they've got to say so it'll be really cool. Mm -hmm.